Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about waterfall chart. So just to give a brief idea, among the default charts, this is one of the toughest chart to understand and it is also having very good use case. Now let's say this is waterfall chart. Now, when you see this waterfall chart, it's very confusing about the numbers. What exactly is this numbers? How the numbers has been populated? So this is a big question. So understanding waterfall chart is a bit difficult. So let me explain in a simple terms. Now, the same chart, let me replicate it again and then explain step by step. And then we will see how this can create story for us. Now, to start with, I will select the waterfall chart. Now, this is a waterfall chart. And in this waterfall chart, basically, I need to fill the category breakdown and values. So in the previous videos, we have observed that the values always the recommended cat, the recommended feature will be numerical feature. So just drag the sales to this values. Now, in the category, let me take order date. And in fact, let me take only by year. Now, to simplify this, let me go and switch on the data labels. And now, this is still incomplete. We will add a breakdown. So let me drag category to this breakdown. Now we have arrived the same waterfall chart which we have seen before, but this time we will understand how the calculations is done. Now, in 2016, the total sales made was 484K. Very good. In 2017, the total sales made was 471K, 609K in 2018. And in 2019, it is 733K. I hope all these blue boxes or a blue bars is understandable. Now, coming to this, from 2016 to 2017, we can see there is a drop in the sales. Now, when I say drop, 484K to 471k it is almost minus 13k somewhere around it has been decreased now the question is which category was the reason for this this is a question in that case if you observe each and every box the green box which is a furniture bar the tooltip clearly says that in 2016, the sales was 1,57,000 and in 2017 sales, which is in between this bar and this bar, if you see here, 2017 sales is 1,70,000. There is a sales change of 13,000, which is almost 8%. Now come back to the technology. So what do you understand in technologies? 2016, it was doing good. But unfortunately, in 2017, the sales has been dropped. So if you see, there is a minus 12K, there is a sales change. That's why it is in red color. And you can also see that the percentage is minus 7%. This applies for office supplies as well. So what is the purpose of this waterfall chart? Waterfall chart helps us to understand which category or which subcategory is contributing or which is not contributing. This number is not the total sales made, but it is a difference between the two years. I repeat again, 2017, it was 471K. 2018, it is 609K. Now from 17 to 18, there is an increase. Almost 150K is increased. Now the question is, who contributed to this 150k increase? That's the question. But if you have added a breakdown, we will be getting the breakdown of technology, office supply and furniture. Now, what is the 64k? 
this 64k is not a total sales made but this 64k is a sales increase that has happened from 17 to 18 2017 to 2018 there is an increase of 64k so that means definitely this has performed well comparing to 2017 to 2018 it is an increase of 40 percent just observe the tooltip there is an increase of 40 percent now come to this office supply this 47k is not the total sales made but it is a difference between the 2017 and 18 that's what is a number to understand better just observe the tooltip in 2017 the sales was 137000 and in 2018 it was 183000 definitely you can see there is a change and that change is basically a positive change which is almost 35% increase that 35% it's almost 47k now what do you under understand and what is your takeaway from this waterfall chart is waterfall chart helps us to break down between the categories and also helps us to understand which category has contributed it either in a positive or a negative direction so this helps us to compare product by product category by category subcategory by subcategory now the best features we can use it for comparing a waterfall chart will be one date which is basically gives us the date information that is 2016 17 18 19 this becomes a date column and obviously the values should be a numerical value it can be a profit it can be a sales it can be a cost and the breakdown is also a categorical variable so the breakdown is something which breaks into between two years and gives us a actual value so when you are reading a waterfall chart remember 2016 to 17 how much it has increased or decreased who was a culprit in case if it is going down who was a culprit in case if it is increasing who was the person who was the category who has made to increase it similarly 17 to 18 the contribution with respect to each and every category like technology office supply furniture everything was increasing but who was the reason to increase in that huge number it's because of the technology the same applies from 18 to 19 you can see almost 130k increase in sales who is responsible for this who is responsible for this this time it was office supply office supply has contributed around 62k percent of sales so remember the 62k is not the sales but it is a sales difference made between the years 2018 and 19 so understanding this chart uh, most of them feels as a difficult but try to put a use case in front of you try to understand the numbers make use of the tooltip you will land in a better position so this is all about waterfall chart thank you all we'll meet in the next video